In this question, a person is pushing an 80 kilogram box up the ramp. He's pushing with a force of 300 newtons, the box is 80 kilos, and the coefficient of friction between the box and the ramp is 0.2. The angle of the ramp is only 10 degrees, not very much. What do we do? What do we do? We draw a freaking big free body diagram, of course. I don't even know what the question is. Let's just follow the steps. Is there gravity? Absolutely there is. There's a force of gravity down, of course. The object is on a surface, so there's got to be Fn, which has to be perpendicular to the surface. Is anyone pushing it? Yeah, the dude is. He's pushing it up the ramp with a force of 300 newtons. So Fa equals 300 newtons. <coughs> And is there friction? For sure you know there's friction because there's a mu, because there's two surfaces touching, so there's always friction. And the only question really is which way is it? The guy is pushing the box up the ramp, so friction has to be down the ramp. But technically, I need to make sure I know which way it's going before I say which way friction's going to be. I know this is being pushed up the ramp, so I know it's going to be down the ramp. But sometimes it's not always totally obvious. We'll talk about more about that in a second. So those are all the forces. I know this thing is accelerating up the ramp, so I'm going to call up the ramp x. And that means I've got to break gravity into x and y components. So I've got fgy and I've got fgx. I'm going to draw fgx again over here because for some reason kids love to forget about it. It's like when students see one force in each direction, they just sort of stop and they don't think about the fact that there could be more than one force in the same direction. It's almost as if you're used to seeing one coming out of each side of the box and that's when you stop your brain. So who knows? Let's put it all on there. Uh, so what's the x and y equation now? Coming over here, we see that the x direction is going to say positive fa minus ff minus fg Gx, and that has to equal ma. And what about the y direction equation? The y direction equation says that fn minus fgy is equal to zero. So I can see that fn equals fgy, which is not surprising. You've done ramp problems before. fn is going to be mg cos theta, no big deal. This angle, of course, is 10 degrees. You've practiced these, that's obvious. What am I trying to find? I still haven't really thought about it. But I'm going to shove everything in and solve. So I can see that Fn is mg cos theta. Shoving in over here, I can see that 300 minus ff, well that's mu Fn, minus fgx, well that's mg sine theta, is equal to m, which is 80, times a. <clears throat> I know what Fn is, it's mg cos theta. The question is find the acceleration. What's the acceleration? The acceleration is 300 minus mu times mg cos theta minus mg sine theta all divided by 80. And when I shove in all my numbers and I do all the math, well, I'll show you that. I get 300 minus 0 0.2 times 80g times the cosine of 10 minus 80g times the sine of 10 all divided by 80 gives me an answer of 0 0.118 which I'll call 0 0.12 meters per second squared but acceleration is a vector so let's make sure we have a direction which is up the ramp. So we got a positive answer here, which means the acceleration is up the ramp. But we assumed that it was going up the ramp. If gravity, FGX, had been bigger than FA, this thing still would have gone down the ramp even though someone was pushing it. And in that case, friction would have been in the opposite direction. So if I had gotten a negative answer here, my answer would have been wrong. I would have had to go back and change FF and get the new answer. And scene.